While the Iowa State Patrol says ATV deaths are up, some cities are considering allowing them on public roadways. Iowa State Patrol points to a trend that they've noticed over the last two years. Deadly ATV crashes started to increase once a law passed, giving municipalities the power to allow them on public roads. To put things into perspective, 12 people were killed in 2022 and 12 in 2023. This year, troopers are fearful they'll surpass those numbers. They've already recorded seven, and the busy season is just beginning. At the same time, the Johnson City Council discussed the possibility of allowing ATVs on city roads at a work session on Monday. The Chief of Police, Dennis Mc Excuse me, the Chief of Police, Dennis McDaniel, said he would like to see a lot of safety requirements included in any ordinance that would be brought to a full council meeting. While Ankeny's city code includes a long list of requirements for UTB drivers, State Patrol warns that UTB crashes happen on paved roads just as often as gravel ones. One of the most common factors they see in deadly UTB crashes is people not wearing their seatbelts.